on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. 50 years after Joe Namath and the guarantee, we are underway in Super Bowl 53. Now the return man. This is Benny Cunningham. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Play fake here on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. And now it's second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Able to find Shaheen here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size, you can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Trubisky will throw. Rolling to his left. Now the hook up here to Allen Robinson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, this flush to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Throwing here, Trubisky. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Burton. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. I was, was going to ask you about that. Field strengths has to be sharper, but it's... And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. With a first touchdown of Super Bowl 53. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way. And they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp. Guys are focused. Everyone's feeling good. And we're seeing it early in this one. And no run back here. This will be a touchback. And it comes out to the 25-yard line. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing on first down is Brady. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Second and six, just inside the 30. 20. 20. Five, we can't. They'll run it here. This is James White. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. 
Brady to throw on third and one. And able to find Dorsett. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Finding some room at midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. They'll run with White. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Danny Trevathan there to bring him down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization. It's down the numbers, there he goes, and all the way in, touchdown, New England, Sony Michelle, 43 yards, and the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up, and on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh, able to avoid him. Nifty move. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. He's going to air one out. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Allen Robinson, 68 yards. And the Bears are able to show off their quick strike ability. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Now Parkey for the extra point. Parkey with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. On the toss, here's White. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. He lost two there, and it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Good to hear. And that's caught inside the 35. Yeah, he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. They give him a gain of 37. 
You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play in the football. Yeah, Brady's throw there incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. By 20. Brady again here on second and 10. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Dwayne Allen, 32 yards. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. It used to be that if you were a big wide receiver and the coaches wanted to make you a tight end, you resisted the move. Now it's almost a glamour position because they have the mismatch advantage. Are you going to cover them with a linebacker? They're probably faster. A defensive back, they're going to be bigger. Tight end is the new big-time position. Cunningham now to return. <laughs> Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Here's Trubisky. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's caught inside the 20. Now he gets this deep into Patriot territory. Trubisky hitting Robinson for a big one. 54 yards. And they've got it here with a first down. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Mitchell Trubisky. And the Bears have broken the tie. Didn't have anything downfield, swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times did they tell us, Hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down. We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was it successful. We saw a touchdown, too. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. That's a good chunk of yardage that's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Now Brady. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Well, they set themselves behind the chains, tried to get it all back in one play, and it backfired. Didn't it feel like a pitcher working his way into a 3-0 count, right? You're behind. What do your coaches always tell you? Get it back one pitch at a time. In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. Steps away to his left. Down left to Shaheen, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. 
They go play action here on first down. Being chased out left. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Adrian Claymore in there to get him for a loss of five. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. It led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Josh Bellamy, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Well, there was a little extra pressure with that one because it was third down. He didn't care. He snagged it with one hand like it was routine. The key is to make a play in a tough situation. Doesn't matter how. And in this case, one-handed gets it done. Terrific play for us to watch. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hey, hey, hey. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. Brady. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he find big 87. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 18 big yards on that one. And a New England first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down at the 28. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation first down. really doesn't matter if you 
creep up to the line of scrimmage. You just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. By 20! By 20! They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Coming up at halftime, I'll go for one personality. That's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 16. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. Oh, oh. I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. Fine. Buying time to his left. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Oh, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start, offense. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. From the gun, it's Brady. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. On first and 10, here's Brady. Fighting his safety valve here, that's complete. And to the 42-yard line here, and brought down there. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be a second down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Brady to throw again. Wide open receiver complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Brady's got his guys first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Now Brady again. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver. And Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 at the 19. Into the red zone, it's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Ball start, offense. 
Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. New England on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and seven. Again, it's Brady. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And Goskowski's kick is good. So we've come upon half. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Shedding through the defense. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. Illegal block in the back. Return team. Yeah, this is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. Now a carry for White. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Here's Brady to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. On third and long, it's Brady. He's going to look deep down the field. And Brady's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Prince of Ukamara. And he works free. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. He was looking for Brock that time. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Everyone has their strengths, able to move to their right or their left, being able to throw the football. So that means you've got to work on both because you never know which way you're going to get flushed by pressure. In this situation, able to escape to his left and makes an accurate throw. Flush to his right. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Play action. Now Trubisky. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, 
totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. On second down, here's Brady. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brady to his old, reliable Edelman, and the Patriots have a first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Ball start, offense. That's going to set him back five yards. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. 20, by 20. Shotgun now for Brady. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The wideout Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Danny Trevathan, he's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Now, yeah, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start with a give to Cohen. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. On third down, Trubisky. They'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11-yard line. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Well, you had to punt on your first drive. And on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Throwing now is Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Brady now, 
Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Brady now on first down. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. By 20, 380. Now Brady throwing on second down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Give him two yards on that play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Throwing on third and long. Brady, he's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He lost two, and it brings up four. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the long yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Really strong, effective run there out of a power set or a heavy set. Three tight ends in the game, and that's tough for a defensive coordinator. They want to spot that lineup coming into the game early so they can get the proper defensive personnel on the field. That's why the coordinator is relying on some of the assistants to tell him what offensive personnel is hitting the field so he can adjust accordingly. They weren't able to stop him on that run. Here's Cunningham. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. The Bears on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Now Cohen. And an alley to run. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Right back to him on first down. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could, and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And nothing there on the return. They've got the football, but they'll have to start this drive at their own four-yard line. 
So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. And still a three-score game, no fourth quarter. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Eddie Jackson with a tackle. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Ball start, offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. By 20! By 20! Following the penalty, Michelle. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down, seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in. All right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll bring up second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. There's the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. Forced out to his left. And Robinson with a big catch. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Allen Robinson, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bears will extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Four down, four down. By 20, by 20. Go! Throwing on first down is Brady. On the slant, he gets it to Gronkowski. <laughs> Rob Gronkowski, 75 yards, and the Patriots get a score closer. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. 
And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A good game at 14 there, and it moves the chains. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Gets around him. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So the Patriots coming out now. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. My 20! My 20! Brady to throw on second down. The throw left side, complete to Hogan. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Wait, 20! 380! On third down, it's White. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. On first and ten, here's Brady. Left side, it's Dorsett. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Holding offense. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already. And they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit Wait, that 20. many times already. Wait, he doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. They go play action here on first down. To the right side, and he's got Edelman. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They get a good chunk of that penalty yardage back. A gain of 15. Second down. To throw on second down, Brady, and a dump off to White, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Now whistles come in, we're going to get a timeout here by the offense, as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Brady. 
They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And he comes back with one complete. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. By 20! By 20! On first down, Brady. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. That'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. One final try now for Brady. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. And these Chicago Bears have etched their name in NFL history. They are your Super Bowl champions.